Is there anything to do with the opening uh, of the Easy Hotel? The Easy Jet guy, he's gone into hotels now. Who's it? Stelios. Stelios. And he's, he's, he's opening a, a, an Easy Jet Hotel. It's saying he gets 20 quid a night to stay in London, but the rooms are bright orange. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't. Um, so in fact, you, they are oranges. Yeah. You have to burrow into them. <laughs> no, actually, they're not. Aren't they? <laughs> well, I'm not staying then. <laughs> he's got into hotels and he's spreading, he's spreading his empire. He's bringing the easy brands to loads of different things. And I, I'm looking forward to the easy zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got a very sort of low rent crap, well, everything's orange. <laughs> There's about 200 foxes and a pigeon that lives off Watsits. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that the opening of the Easy Hotel is not in the, uh, in the top five. Oh, you it. Dave, your team, what have the nation been talking about this week? Um, I think they've been talking about the space shuttle with bits falling off it. <laughs> I think it's, it's 25 years old. What are they doing sending that up there? I've got a 15-year-old caravanet. I wouldn't got Grange over Sands in it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It must have been quite worrying when George Bush comes up on the screen to talk to them. <laughs> See on re-entry, guys, could you possibly aim the craft at Iran? <laughs> 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 the thing is, have you seen the crew? Eileen, she's called. She's commanding. She's Eileen Collins. She's more by her dresser as well, obviously. <laughs> have you seen her hair, that Eileen? It's just like done. She thought, well, I've got to put that helmet on. So she's done her hair like that. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think she decided to be an astronaut when she was at the hairdressers in one of those <laughs> things? Yeah. <laughs> this is the look for me. I've seen they've, they've repaired the shuttle now. But, like, if you were on a plane and you just watch the pilot shin his way out along the wing <laughs> with a hacksaw, and then he come in and go, oh, it's fine now. <laughs> you can <be> yourself. <laughs> well, let's have a look and see if it's in the top five talking points this week. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, this is the story of the repairs being carried out on the space shuttle this week. Discovery will soon be returning to home base. Or if they're closed, they'll be nipping into B&Q. <laughs> If all the people in China stood on each other's shoulders, they could reach the moon, which is not only an interesting fact, it's also the latest rescue plan. <laughs> what poll do you think dogs might have appeared on? Is this dogs with specs or just dogs in general? <laughs> a friend of mine had a dog, and this is true, it's, had, it's got a lisp, this dog. <laughs> <laughs> and when it barks, it goes like this, it goes... Rouse! <laughs> <laughs> And then it developed a stammer, and it, went, it goes... <laughs> the dogs are a man's best friend, aren't they? Yeah. So I'm just wondering, if it, is it something to do with a poll of best friends who have at one time or another <laughs> in your kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> no. What poll do you think might have featured the Olympics and dogs? Is it things that postmen hate? Because postmen hate dogs, and they hate the Olympics. Why? <laughs> well, the Olympic Village... They go there, and it's just, you know, Saeed Asu Warawara, and <laughs> they go, they've just got to go and find him, haven't they? <laughs> you ever been to see the postman in Olympic Village? Just... <laughs> Dogs are going to be allowed into the Olympics. Swimming. I'd like to see a 24-hour Vic Reeves news channel. <laughs> <laughs> You're in luck. Yeah. <laughs> I actually thought I was appearing on Eat Out of Tin Cans. <laughs> well, we would just have to eat out of tin cans and enjoy it <laughs> for half an hour. <laughs> That's why I went on this show. <laughs> mobile phones there. Television companies have been accused of profiting from mobile phone voting. If you want to hear the punchline to that joke, text MORON to the number on your screen now. <laughs> what poll do you think mobile phones, the Olympics and dogs might have appeared on? I know. David Beckham, he did a, f a telephone advert. Yeah. Football is going to be in the Olympics, and yeah. Beckham rides a dog in <laughs> when he comes on the pitch. It was so good, but he sort of fell down on that third one, I felt. <laughs> that was the tweenies. The tweenies are pretty terrifying. Yeah. They, they look sort of like a normal family that live under a mobile phone mast. <laughs> <laughs> Children like dogs, the between these Olympics and mobile phones. Let's have a look at the next thing on the list. <laughs> Paris Hilton there. What poll do you think they all might have appeared on? I think, is it things that they've got other names for? Like, she's got a Paris Hilton. Her real name's Reading Travel Lodge. <laughs> <laughs> Olympics. A lot of people just go, Olympics, innit? <laughs> Can I have the points? <laughs> I think Paris Hilton is the big clue here. So she had sex on the internet and... The tweenies have had sex on the internet. <laughs> is it things people have been searching for on the internet? Yeah, thank you, Bob. That's the correct answer. <laughs> they all 
up here on a poll of the most searched words on the internet. So, at the end of that round, it is eight points for Dave's team and two points to Sean's team. Don't worry, Dave. And the winner is, is the name of our final round. I'm going to give the teams a series of opinion polls and surveys. It's up to them to buzz in and tell me who or what they think came top. Here is your first one. The greatest food innovation of the 20th century. <laughs> the spark. You know that plastic? They've made a spoon and a fork as one thing. <laughs> That's clever, that spark. Uh, I think probably the greatest leap forward is the Muller fruit corner. That's a fantastic <laughs> thing. Because you can, have, you, can go, you can have your yoghurt first, then your fruit. Or you can have your fruit, then your yoghurt. Or you can just eat the fruit, not bother with the yoghurt. He's got a point. Or you can eat the yoghurt and just chuck the fruit on a cat or something. And <laughs> it's just so many options. With Do one... you write the serving suggestion on the front? <laughs> or a scotch egg. That's a fantastic invention. What about the gala pie? It's a similar thing, but square. <laughs> <laughs> scotch egg. Uh, vegetarians can have scotch egg, can't they? Because they can throw the meat away and they can eat the egg. Yeah, and the same with the gala pie. <laughs> I'd like it to be the pot noodle. I like pot noodles because you just, it's just pop the kettle on, taste it for five days afterwards. Love it. <laughs> Do you genuinely eat pot noodles? Yeah, I watch Diagnosis Murder in the afternoon and eat chicken and mushroom pot noodles. <laughs> Have you ever thought about maybe having an affair? <laughs> <laughs> Powdered egg. <laughs> Powdered egg? <laughs> Don't laugh and, and don't day. mock it. Don't you ever mock <laughs> powdered egg. I mock, mock powdered egg because it's a very sad story. My grandfather, right, <laughs> he had powdered egg during the war. He thought it was drugs. He snorted it, right, <laughs> and he choked on his own omelette. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a way of preserving food. Freezing. Correct. The greatest food innovation of the 20th century is frozen food. Yeah! 